Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And today I'm going to be answering this question. How do you figure out a transaction when you have to do multiple ones on the same card? So someone asked me this and I can interpret that in a variety of ways. So hopefully I answer the question. Um, and I'm going to talk about reasons why I end up splitting up transactions and um, my thought process in how I'm determining you know, what products I should buy in this transaction and which ones I should buy in the other uh, transaction. And hopefully it answers the question. Okay, so these are some reasons that I split up transactions. And, you know, this is mostly going to focus on bonus cash at Rite Aid, but you can apply these techniques to other stores. So, um, yeah. Okay, reasons for splitting up transactions. Maybe you have to buy the products at two different stores because... Uh, they only have three of the given item at any store. So I need six of them to finish the, the uh, deal. So I buy three of them at this store and I go over to the other store and have to buy three at the other store to get my bonus cash, right? Um, coupon limits, and there that varies between with coupons. Um, not enough bonus cash today. So maybe <laughs> I'm doing a bunch of deals today and I... Um, don't have enough to finish off one of my spend 30 get back 10s and I buy half the product today is so I earn some bonus cash today and I come back tomorrow and get some buy the rest um, Catalina offers might cause you to want to split up a transaction so here you know we had to buy four huggies to get the Catalina but I needed eight total to you know to hit $40 or something um, I would want to split those up. That frequently happens with L'Oreal shampoos and their Catalinas that they run. You know, I might need to buy, you know, 10 of them to finish off the deal, but I only want to buy three of them per transaction to get the Catalina back. And the store might put restrictions on how much of an item they're selling, like if they got a really hot deal on um, laundry soap or something like that. So first, you got to figure out what what's the purpose in splitting up the transaction and um, and then how are you going to deal with it once you get it split up. So these are the things that I look at when I have to split up a transaction. So how much do I need to buy? Maybe the deal spend $20, you get back $5 in bonus cash. So that's how much I need to go and get. Okay. And, and then I have to figure out what I'm going to buy. Maybe I need to spend 30 to get back $10. Okay. So figure out um, how much you're going to spend. And then how many, so now you know how many coupons you're going to be using. Um, what are the coupon limits? So ca Rite Aid cash registers only allow seven like coupons. If you need to buy eight of something, you're definitely going to have to split the transaction into two. So you have to figure out, do I want to buy four and four <laughs> in each transaction? Maybe it's best to go get seven of them in this one transaction and buy one in another because you know maybe you have twenty dollar bonus cash because you have to spend it as twenty dollars you may want to buy seven of them in the same transaction so you you can use that um, maximize the use of your um, your bonus cash there um, the coupons might state limit two per transaction and the store is going to limit you that way you know maybe it's four per transaction covergirl and neutrogena coupons are often limit one like they the cash register literally will only take one of those coupons so that might restrict you that way um so you have to figure that out and um and then how much bonus cash do you have and what denominations is it in because my, my whole thing is is i don't want to pay any out of pocket okay <laughs> like zero dollars is what i want to pay so i want to set up transactions that maximize my bonus cash that I have. Like I said, if you know, if you, you may want to buy seven of them in the same transaction to use a $10 bonus cash, you know, and, and maximize it that way. That that's, um, restricts me a lot on, you know, the bonus cash uh, dollar amounts. Okay. So just as an example, a couple of weeks ago, we had, um, a cover girl deal, um, that was spend ten dollars and get back five dollars in bonus cash. It had a limit of two. So I said to myself, I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna spend twenty dollars on CoverGirl. That'll give me back five dollar and a five dollar bonus cash. Okay. Um, and they were buy one get one half off. And we had a six dollar off of two 
uh, coupon. And it was limit one per transaction. Okay, now when I went over to the shelf and I was looking at what products I could buy, I was going to get four of them using two of those $6 off of two coupons. So I needed to do two transactions, okay? So I I got found four that added up to $20. So I'd get my bonus cash back. and But I had to split them. So I was looking at this and I... And, these two right here added up to over $10. So you could buy those first on the first day that you go in. You know, use your $6 off coupon. And you get $5 in bonus cash back. Then you can go back the second day. If you don't have any other bonus cash. Go back the second day. Pick up the other two. Now, if you use the $6 off coupon, you'd still need to throw in a couple of more dollars or something to use the $5 bonus cash if you're going to do that. But maybe you had multiple deals you wanted to do. Um... So anyways, there you go. That That's an example of what you could do and why, how you would split it up. Write down everything you're going to buy and then figure out how much it's going to cost you. How much bonus cash do you have? What are your coupons? And then, and then uh, split up your transactions. And the more you do this, the easier you can do it in your head. You know, you may not actually have to write it down on a piece of paper. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.